Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I uh, just wanted to uh, show you my new Eastwood modular blast cabinet that I bought from Eastwood. And this is their mid range blast cabinet. And you see it's 279. And you look down here, you can see that the internal dimensions is 28. Uh, wide by 18 inches deep and 12 inches high. Uh, the external uh, dimensions with the 9 inch legs which is the ones that you see here. It is 30 and a half inches wide, 20 and a half inches deep and 28 inches high. Uh, the viewing window is 22 inches by 10.5 uh, inches and it has a high performance blast gun um, has a electrical uh, the electrical well uh, an LED lamp which can be plugged into any regular standard household outlet uh, the air supply requirement is 7 CFM at 80 PSI and then uh, I bought the uh, the actual um, convenient I'm sorry where is it oh the leg kit okay which is I'll show you so that's basically what it looks like so this part here these are 36 uh, inches so if you don't want this to sit on top of a workbench and you want it to sit somewhere permanently you can include buy this I think it's like fifty dollars for it Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you out to the garage and I'm going to show you the box it came in and all the pieces and I'm going to start putting it together. I almost forgot. Uh, instead of using my shop vac to um, use that as to collect all the dust in the cabinet, after all the reviews I've seen on uh, YouTube, I decided to go with Eastwood dust collection system for blast cabinets uh, you can see the price here it is kinda of pricey but from what I can tell from what I've seen is it'll be well worth it I haven't used one of these before and this um, will be my first blast cabinet or media um, blasting cabinet and as you can see here um, you know it collects media dust and you can also reuse it there's right down here there's a latch and then you open the latch and the media you know falls out and then you can reuse it um and let's see it uh you know i've, I've read on the reviews that it does real well keeping the dust out of the cabinet and it has a two inch inlet and it runs off of um, a 12 amp 120 volt motor uh, we can you can wall mount it which is what I'm going to do because the specific cabinet that I have the modular cabinet doesn't have which I'll show you right here it doesn't have the holes already pre-drilled in the cabinet itself that's what it would look like if it was on the cabinet I've heard other people have put it on the legs of their cabinet but I'm going to attach mine to the wall and I'll show you where and it can hold up to 1.75 gallons of um, it says dust capacity but that's basically whatever media that you're using alright so this has not this was actually out of stock at my local Eastwood which I'm going to um, buy that probably in a couple of days once they get it in stock okay so here's the box that it comes in so make sure if you actually happen to go buy this in one of their stores uh, that you have a pretty big vehicle so that this uh, box can fit up in there uh, and right here th this is the um, extender legs here so I'm going to go ahead and unpack everything, lay it all out, and uh, that way you can see exactly how much work is um, as far as putting it together.
Okay, so here's the cabinet um, right out of the box. Uh, here are the the gloves here, which they seem. I, I, this is my first one, so I don't have anything to compare it to. But to me, um, these seem pretty pretty thick. Um, that they're going to work well. Um, this is uh, down where the media goes down here. Uh, the screen for it is right here. I took it out because I had to get the other components out. So it just lays in here. It doesn't affix to anything. It just lays on this lip right here. Um, this right here is the filter, which is replaceable. This is the LED light, which I have the plug that I'm going to plug it up, and then I'll show you once I get it all together. This right here is the exhaust port. Okay. Uh, on the lid, it has gas lifters, two of them on each side. It also has uh, a window film here that is replaceable once it gets scratched. And it also has the insulation all the way around the cabinet here. Okay, uh, let me show you what it looks like closed. So this is what it looks like closed. All right. And right here is the switch, the on-off switch for the light, and it plugs up right here. Uh, right here is where you put the vacuum elbow so that you can attach your shop vac up to it. And yeah, here's just a, a look at the bottom of it, which I have to install. The You see the door or uh, some kind of fitting on here. That keeps it in. All right. Okay. So let me take you over to the bench. Okay. So this is what came in the box. Uh, I believe there are four glass liners here. You have your instructions. You have your high power blast media gun with three extra nozzles here. They even gave you um, gives you. Um, tape to to put on the threading this is the plug for the light this is the exhaust the vacuum exhaust elbow and then this right here is just extra insulation that goes around the um, cabinet door and right here is the box of the legs if you want to do a desktop so I'm not going to be using these, so I'm just going to seal this back up because I have the extender kit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together, and um, when I come back, it'll all be together. Okay, so I've got it all assembled. Um, just wanted to show you underneath right here. This is the actual uh, drain screw in order to get all of the uh, media out. So you have to take this off. This is a 15 millimeter bolt. Uh, put the legs on, which these are um, 10 millimeter bolts here. You're going to need this to put these legs on is going to require the assistance of another person. Um, I actually had to use, I used a rake and then my tripod stand in order to prop these up so I could screw these in. Then also I have some uh, magnets that I use that I put on the inside of the cabinet to hold all of the screws um, sticking out so that I can thread the nuts on there as well as the washers. That part took the longest um, and right now I think it took about maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half uh, roughly. So let me, um, I'm going to turn her over and I'll show you the rest. Okay, alright so here she is standing up and I must say that you know she's pretty tall. Um, so here's the light, you know, the light is on in here now, and to me it looks like there's a lot of light. Uh, I'll be able to really test it out once I start sandblasting. And the gloves here, I would say I have large hands, I'm um, 5'7", and there's enough room in here. They feel pretty comfortable in their line as well. And the gun here, you know, this feels, it's real, it's lightweight and it feels really, sorry about that. Um, it feels lightweight and it feels, um, you know, really good. 
Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. And another thing which I don't know if this was like a return or somebody started putting it together, but they had already put some kind of um, sealant on all of the oops on all of the um, spaces in here. So I was told when I bought it, they advised that it was going to come with some and to make sure I apply it before I started sandblasting. So there was none in the box, so I don't know if the guy just was telling me the wrong thing or if it was because, um, you know, this one was already, the stuff that would have came in the box was already used. So as you can see there. And then on the back here, I didn't install the vacuum elbow because you know I'm going to buy that um, dust uh, collector which I don't believe I'm going to need that in there. Alright so um, let me show you where I'm going to actually uh, have it at. So hold on. Okay so as you can see um, I'm going to be uh, storing it in this corner here which I shouldn't have to move it. I'm going to put the dust collector uh, probably somewhere on this wall over here somewhere. Once I get it and I see how long the hose is, I'll be able to tell uh, where I'm going to put it. I also have to run an air hose uh, plus um, some uh, I'm thinking about putting an outlet, having an outlet run right over here on this wall somewhere too uh, for the light. So, um, and as you can see, um, it's it actually opens up so it's definitely a space saver and I'll show you from the side here okay so I actually have a cover for it too um, it was um, I found a grill cover because you know I like to cover up my things make sure that they don't uh, get messed up when I'm not using them so I'm gonna take that out and uh, see if it actually covers it like I hope it does all right, so there's a, a grill cover, and if it's perfectly, it covers it up. Uh, this is the grill cover that I used. It's actually made of some um, really heavy-duty material, and it's uh, all weatherproof. So this should keep it protected whenever I'm not uh, sandblasting. Give you a side view of it. All right, so my next video, I'll actually do a review on the actual blast cabinet itself. So you guys have a blessed day. See you later.